Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Your person showing up as the Four of Pentacles. They're viewing you as the Three of Cups. What you're not seeing is the Five of Wands. And we've got the Six of Cups, Watermelon Energy. Some of you might... I don't know, I'm getting like have, um, I don't know, like a shirt or like an embroidered wallet or pouch or something with watermelons on it or like some, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know if it's like a cute like t-shirt or something like that. Um, that's coming through really strong. All right, you've got something really sweet unfolding here for you. The Five of Cups, I feel like you've been kind of disappointed in love. Um and now maybe by this person, maybe whatever's going on, like maybe things have come to a full stop here with this person. But for others of you, you're just kind of healing. I feel like you're putting yourself out there, maybe even a little bit reluctantly. Some of you are going to be, you're going to reluctantly go out with some friends and that's where you end up meeting this person. So make sure you say yes, Libra. With the eight of pentacles in reverse... Feels like you've just kind of been waiting. You're not putting a whole lot of time and effort either into this connection or maybe somebody wasn't doing that with you and that's what's been disappointing. But I feel like a lot of my Libras, you're kind of, you're in this single energy, but you've been disappointed. Things haven't gone the way that you wanted them to. Yeah, maybe some of you are avoiding dating. Some of you, you get, you just got out of a really bad relationship is what I'm hearing, or you got, you, or you moved away from someone who is really controlling or really jealous, but I feel like you've been left feeling just down. I do think you're, you're putting yourself out there, but like I said, quite reluctantly, or maybe your friends are dragging you out to a party. And with the four of pentacles here, you have somebody that is quite stable, somebody here that doesn't. It may also hold off on dating or hasn't been doing a whole lot of dating because they're quite particular is what I'm getting. They've been waiting for the right one. And they're going to take a leap of faith towards you, Libra, because there's something very different about you. You would just hit different, Libra. And so you have somebody who normally holds back, probably because they have a lot to offer. They've been looking or waiting for the one. And there's something in uh, something about you that sparks some sort of energy, some sort of excitement that they're going to take a, a risk or a leap of faith towards you. And the three of cups, they you make this person very happy. And you're going to be a bit of a tower moment for this person. Um, but this person is definitely going to put in the effort to try to beat out the competition. And I don't think they've done that in a while, Libra. I don't think they've done that in a while because I feel like just they've been so disappointed or they're just very picky. But not in like a like picky and meticulous in a way that like they're they're fastidious, right? But it's just like they're really picky. They haven't liked the options that have come come their way. Some of you, this could, I mean, they might be admiring you a little bit before they reach out. But I, I kind of feel like the Five of Wands. This person is absolutely they're like in a rush to get with you, Libra. <laughs> and I feel like because they've been on hold or they've been holding back for a while and they're just like, wow, Libra is just so different. Libra is so compatible with me. And this person is not looking for, they're not looking, they're looking for something more serious. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I also feel some of you, um, they might, you might meet this person and, and one, or, one or both of you are quite inebriated. Just be aware of that. It's coming through. I also feel too, they might confess their true feelings or maybe need a little bit of liquid cur courage here, Libra, to ask you out. The Six of Cups tells me though, it's going to be sweet and endearing no matter how it happens. It's a very sweet energy. You two are soulmates. And wow, soulmates and lovers there with the Gemini energy, really strong soul connection. And we get Scorpio energy in reverse. Some of you, if it is somebody you like you're reconnecting with in some way, like somebody you knew when you were younger or something, or you used to work with, it's like they've always had a thing for you. 
Yeah, I'm getting secret admirer vibes here from the high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. We also have strong Scorpio energy. We have strong um, Aries energy coming through here, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius coming through. I just feel like you've got something really, really sweet coming your way. But I, I also feel with this death card in reverse, you are still healing from something that didn't work out or possibly an abusive relationship, Libra. Um, but I, I do feel this this feels like a secret admirer, or maybe they're just going to spend like, if you meet them at a party or out with friends, they're going to spend some time like checking you out before they actually, you know, get your number or come up to you or, you know, ask you out. What else do we need to know about this person? Yeah, this person might be, I, I've been picking up on that. Virgo energy here with the hermit that they, that there's somebody who's been single for a bit, maybe healing themselves, or maybe just because ugh, I just kind of get like being annoyed with like the options or the type of person that, you know, they're normally introduced to or around. This person is definitely like a guiding light for others. And they also have a very strong spiritual connection, which I think you're going to like. And we do get night energy. So allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle, romantic delusions. I think this person has been very disappointed in love in the past, and that's why they've been holding back. I'm not getting that this person is a player. Actually, I see them as the hero or the heroine of the story. They're going to be quite strong. They're quite powerful. Um, they're, they're, you know, they've learned some tough lessons there. But I feel more than anything, this person might have some they, I feel like they might be feeling a little disillusioned by dating and romance, of course, until they meet you. <laughs> but I like this energy, Libra. It feels really good. I, I feel like you are still healing from something, though. So just make sure you do that work. This is probably just going to come out of the woodwork come and, and take you by surprise to a degree. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Be patient. Don't dismiss the red flags. Hmm, interesting. And this relationship is moving towards sacred union. Yeah, some of you, I mean, I, I'm not really picking up on any major red flags here with this person. I mean, maybe there's some overindulgence here, but I kind of just feel like that's like they're going to, you know, this is somebody who's going to like take a shot and then come over to you and ask your number. Like that's the energy I'm getting. They might not even drink or touch alcohol. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, again, some of my Libras too, you might be questioning you know, your ability to see red flags, because I do feel like a lot of you have been through something that was kind of abusive or just quite nasty. Okay, and we see balance at the bottom of the deck. And yeah, so I think there's a past situation that's left you feeling a little bit disappointed and imbalanced. All right, you may have been overgiving in a previous situation. So I kind of feel like these red flags are not about picking yourself apart here, Libra, but just taking a look at like making sure you don't repeat any past mistakes here. But I feel that this is really positive energy. I mean, I think it's something very sweet. I think it's a really intense connection. I think it's going to be a very healing connection for you. Um, so yeah, let's see what other advice spirit has for my Libras. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Libras. Education. Yeah. Making sure that you learn from the past. No repeating past mistakes. Don't don't rush into anything either, Libra. Like don't get too emotionally invested before you know who this person is, what they're really truly offering. And we see follow the leader. But I kind of feel like this is, you know, making sure that you obviously don't blindly follow anybody into, into you know, a situation that you're not ready for or you're not interested in. But I kind of feel like you're the leader in this in this respect. Um, I feel like there's, you know, that it's a long and winding road, but I do think you're going to get to that stability. We see this clock here. So again, needing to be patient and making sure that you just, you know, do things a little bit differently here with this person. I, I see there's potential for success if you do that. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here, Libras. If these messages do resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light Libras. Take care.